Department of Physics came into existence in 1994 uh, with the emphasis on uh, fundamental questions in relation to magnetic semiconductor and uh, biomedical devices. Uh, and as such, you know, uh, we started as a physics department tackling fundamental issues that relates to uh, real day application. It's a very research active department uh, with a lot of teaching faculty and our researchers collaborate a lot with industry as well as working with research groups around the country and around the world. So our department has a multidisciplinary research areas and uh, diversity in the academics and research as well. So we do the research in material science, in optics, uh, in laser, and of course in uh, bioelectric interfaces. The Department of Physics offers a wide range of interesting courses in nanophysics, in nanomaterials and nanostructures and so forth. A big part of my research is in finding the means to analyze these uh, nanomaterials. And uh, usually we try to do that uh, optically, with uh, optical investigation. And this is uh, interesting because optics allows very sensitive uh, investigation of materials. The photonics and optics is one of the most really enabling technologies that's available here, which is closely related to everybody's daily life. So for example, the young people, they are always looking for better gaming experience. Uh, everybody is looking for better internet connections, right? So all of these falls within the remit of optics and plasmonics. My research group's focus is on energy storage and semiconductor technologies. And so we have a significant amount of research in flow batteries, specifically on different sensors for flow batteries, measuring the state of charge of batteries. And then we have another branch of research on semiconductors, um, compound semiconductors and metallization of semiconductors. So the University of Limerick and Department of Physics have diversity in students. We have students from different backgrounds. Ireland is uh, a booming market in medical field, medical health devices, pharmaceutical. And we have many courses for uh, students in department and of course in the University of Limerick. The students here at the physics department in UL are the, the heart and blood of the department. We do research here in our lab and then we immediately walk 100 metres across the campus to teach the students the fundamentals of the research that we're doing. Uh, so it's a very exciting time to be working in this department because we're doing active groundbreaking research um, but also bringing students through the education um, of the physics behind that. So the Department of Physics uh, has a small but vibrant uh, community and people very much interact with each other and they do collaborative research which actually leads to establishing fundamentals of these new materials but that leads also to fundamentals in physics and science and uh, engineering as well. The department also promotes gender equality. The Department of Physics was the first and is still the only department in the Republic of Ireland who got Athena Swan Silver Award. So that tells you that the department offers a very inclusive environment to all researchers from all over the globe. The Department of Physics at the University of Limerick is a good department to come to. There's a lot of lectures in the department, I, more than 80% of the department, that are doing cutting edge research. They're extremely enthusiastic about their research, but also they're enthusiastic about teaching students. The department is well linked to other universities in Europe, and we're also well linked to uh, industries around in, in Ireland. I think the research that we're doing in particular has a huge focus towards sustainability, eco-friendly materials, eco-friendly battery equipment, and I think the department could act as a really natural test bed for how new sustainable communities can build up in how we generate and store our energy. 
I think we we have the foundation. And we have to create a platform from where we can now continue on uh, a lot of disruptive innovation and outstanding ideas that will shape our future.